guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fosa Kijin Cosplay and tonight we are watching with you guys Westworld <laughs> Season 2 Episode 3. Three. This episode is called Virtue e Fortuna. Oh, Virtue e Fortuna. Something like that. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, what happened last episode? Uh, last episode, if you remember correctly, we kind of had a glimpse of Dolores past, like 30 years ago. Yes, she was she... taken into the real world by Arnold, and we saw what happened with um, Logan. Yes, he basically started, you know, doing this. I mean, uh, Westworld was kind of his thing, like he's the one they approached in order to uh, you know, asking for his father's money as a an investor, and uh, he's the one who liked the idea. He's the one, who, you know, put his uh, his motivation into it. And then he brought William along, and William kind of stole it. <laughs> he gave the idea to Logan's father, and uh, he ended up, you know, being the one that created this thing with Logan's father. And Logan, well, he's been forgotten. So, yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Uh, as for uh, William and Dolores, they are both on their way towards a weapon mm. that William, you know, showed Dolores back in the day when when he was uh, still young and uh, af after season one, like after <laughs> his time in uh, Westworld where he became the Men in Black. So uh, they've got, well, William tried to get an army. But uh, it doesn't work like that. Nope. Ford, Ford wants him to want. play alone. Yes. Well, alone with Elazo or Lawrence. <laughs> with Lawrence. Because uh, I mean, he didn't kill himself, and I'm I'm pretty glad about that because I like Lawrence. I wanted to stay, and I mean, Men in Black need someone to talk to, so he does. Yeah. So Dolores has uh, is trying to get the confedera confederados to work with her. She uh, she managed to convince a few of them, but now she needs to convince the, the guy that is in charge. So yeah, with that said, let's move on to the episode. All right, all right, all right. All right, Matthew McConaughey. So what brings you to this part of the world? I have a little time to kill, among other things. Hunting. Bengals. Yeah, me too. There's nothing like it, is there? Edge of the park, a bit. That's another mad, part. A bit dangerous. Oh. I was wondering at first. I was like, this is Everybody weird, but and this is so cool. Because I mean, the possibilities of this are endless. <laughs> and as much as I hate the fact that the hosts are alive enough for it to be considered like slavery or something. Like, I mean, there's a reason why everything happened in season one. I would love for an opportunity like this. <laughs> Normally there are other hosts here. You know, to entertain us, to, to cook. Well, maybe they're giving us our privacy. That's not how this works. Blood. Ah. Uh... I mean, the other parts are being affected too. Like we saw a tiger, I think was last episode or the, in the first one. Uh huh. Horror. No, I. These I... violent delights and violent ends. Can't you? Can't you put the gun down? Put the gun down, can't you? Those people are guests. I rode the train with them on the. Oh, oh damn. But I mean, pulling the guests out of the park wouldn't be wouldn't, wouldn't that be the first thing to do? I don't think that they want to provoke a a panic. A panic. Yeah, but I mean, isn't that gonna cause Come panic? Motion. Run! Mm. Run! Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, it's, it's true. I mean, even the animals. Could, yeah, I mean, they're, they stop following the code and stuff. Oh. I was like wondering, maybe she killed the tiger and that's how, that's why it ended up on the other side. Ah, oh, these old guns. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
poor her. She fell down. Uh, she fell down. Of course she fell down. You think she survived? I don't know. The tiger's dead. Well, he's been shot and... But it just goes to show, I mean, everything that happened in our park last season, it's gonna, it's happening in the others. I mean, we, we passed a lot of time in that one park, in the western part, but uh, these are the same hosts. Same code, same story, kinda. Yeah. So if some hosts could overcome the code in the first, and uh, Ford made sure that they couldn't be, you know, control anymore, no wonder that now the other parks are rebelling too. It's so weird to see another park <laughs> knowing like we know the characters from the first one and we're like ah, we're so used to them like we know who's a host who's not a host and now we're in this new park and we're like holy shit who's who <laughs> mm. uh -oh. mm -hmm. he's right there there he is you're well fudge. I'll say you are going to fetch me far more than 15 Let's make you the most virtuous, quickest gun in the West. Oh. I want to see that. You the sick tug mistreating these gentle women? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Y'all too? Yeah. You're mistreating people. Oh my god. The only ever touch a woman as gently as with a petal of a rose. Hello, Zoro. Veterados. <laughs> He's gonna get killed. I need to get to the train. I need to get to the train. I can help you. Hey! Can I roll through these hills? I'll escort you! <laughs> I'll escort you! Get away from me! Wait for me! Fuck you! <laughs> Why is this flax and plum riding ahead of you? Because he knows what's best for him. And you are. Hey! Why? It's Yellow Eyes from Supernatural! Colonel, she says we are. Yeah! With a mustache, I didn't recognize him! You can keep it. And all their weapons. I don't care. Just promise me your men. I need them if we're ever to survive this threat. There are people dead everywhere. <laughs> it's a show made of villains now. <laughs> really enough, like... Delores? Oh... Daddy. That's nice. Dolores. No. The calf's in the field, I'm worried. You told me once to run away. And I did. I broke free with the pull of a trigger. But it started a war. You understand, don't you? It's getting late. We ought to go home. Mm -hmm. He's mixed One, between two, the storylines. He's completely lost. I, 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 I need to get to the train. I, I, need, I need to get to the train. No, it's okay. I, it's okay. I, I'm gonna get you help, Daddy. I'm gonna get you help. Maybe Bernard could help? Maybe. Because I mean, for Dolores, we're looking to be very uh, be royal issue. Yeah. That warrior. So. I was given a character, a story, and a function to serve, like you. My whole life has been dictated by someone else. Someone who's been saying, "You will." Now. Now I feel like I've discovered my own voice. I says. I may. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is good. She opened the possibilities. There is beauty in 
and what we are. Ah, oh, that's the memory. Shouldn't we too try to survive? They are worth the attempt. The feeble among us. Hey, Isabella. She survived. She has a dragon. <laughs> she also looks badass. Love to say hello. We've got to run. I mean, last time we saw her, she was stuck in between a door and a, and a wall. I don't know how she managed to survive this, but... Felix! Yay! You're alive! Yay! Yeah. see you, given the circumstances. Any thoughts on where we should be going? Sorry. We left my comfort zone a long time ago. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like that he's still alive, too. <laughs> I think, like, Maeve genuinely cares for Felix. I'm gonna try to remember his name this season. Someone jury rigged a thin character and programmed it into him. It's very strange. I haven't been able to access it, but it looks like an immensely complex encryption key. Why is he shaking so much? There's something with his code. The, the, the train. Give us sensors, man. We don't understand. Steady, man. He's, he, I read one time used key. Obviously, they put something in him. The, the question is what? What? Oh, let's go. Uh oh. Oh. oh shit, what the buggies do? <laughs> they don't understand that technology at all. She's looking for a Abernathy. But they actually, they did get him. Yeah. But they're gonna lose him then. Maybe. No, not maybe. We know for sure. We saw it in the future. Dolores! Her dad is in danger. Dolores! <laughs> she just keeps moving. She got shot and she just Keep on moving. Oh my gosh. Either she's disconnected enough not to even feel it, or she's just that strong. <laughs> Split up our horde. Send it in every direction. Don't stop looking until we find it. What about you? You and I are going to Sweetwater. There's something I need there. <laughs> then he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, okay, you said so. when we say that she actually cares about all the hosts she cares only about those the that, only those that can help her achieve her purpose they're traitorous bitch <laughs> told you I needed your men to survive their threat oh uh -huh. she just needed them to survive Oh god. But that's that's a dangerous road though. Cause I mean if she doesn't care about anyone, either living or host, what is she gonna do when once she's done? 
<laughs> okay. So they were baits, basically. Yeah. Their blood is on your hands. She doesn't care. The truth is, we don't all deserve to make it. Mm. Take this dog out back. Put him down with the rest. I don't think he wants to do that. He doesn't. I don't think he approves of her new ways. He follows because he believes that she has the answers and he loves her. But I fear that one of the reasons why he's dead in in the future is because he went against her. Or yeah, that or she's using him. But uh, they're all killing them, which sure that they won't come back. Because I mean, she 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 showed him the problem that it's us against them, but she's making him kill us. <laughs> I know what I want. You ain't even sure about that term again. You take your orders from. It's pathetic. It's kind of true. Get out of here. She saw. Bobby. She saw. She fucking saw. And she's not the only one, I mean, they saw too. <sighs> He's gonna get himself himself killed. Shit, shit. Back to the beginning. She's, she's alive. alive! Yeah! But she's in the other park now. Oh. But that explains the tiger they found. I like this. I like we're seeing more and more of the story unfolds. We understand more. Okay. Men in black? No. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this shit. She just escaped a tiger. <laughs> it's still part of the same park? They had like a narrative with friendly. If not, we kill them. Keep it simple. A helmet? Oh shit. Oh. Oh, sam <gasps> oh, Samurais! Ooh, that's a storyline we've been wanting to see! <laughs> They're dangerous. But I'm mixed, like, I need a map of the parks or something. We have to go! We have to get out of here right now! <laughs> Guys, I'm like, I'm so, 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 so sorry. Yeah, you must have noticed she was dozing off a little bit. Yeah. Don't judge her. Did you, you didn't miss anything? Like, I was no, trying no, to no, no, uh, nudge her under the table. You, did, you didn't just nudge, you kicked me under the table. Not too hard. Anyway. No, I uh, pretty uh, much kept everything inside of my mind. Good. Sorry, we're recording really late, so. Anyway. But uh, this episode was a, lo a lot more action than what we've uh, been dealing with uh, in yeah. season one. Like in season one, we had one huge like action fire action scene. But uh, this is cool. Now Maeve and her little guru group uh, they're in danger. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't understand sure, where the they Japan are. Japan Park. But I don't understand where they are in the park because the way that he talked about it, it's like the script guy. It's like they were north of. Well, the, the actual park that we know of. Yeah. But I don't know if they crossed to another park yet. Maybe. Because there's snow. So there's no snow in the west, like, the, where, where they're supposed to be. Like, there is no, no snow there. So maybe they crossed to another park, and that's why there is uh, samurais and stuff. Or they're still north of that same park, but the samurai Cross crossed over. over. The tiger... Didn't actually cross over, but we have proof now that the, the other parks have been going, you know, crazy too. Like they uh, they have started, you know, uh -huh. crossing over the code, the code and stuff, attacking guests. And uh, so okay, at first I thought that maybe the the part in India with the woman that we saw ha was happening at the moment where everything else was happening. So in the present, 
but apparently it was two weeks ago, so before the military came to help them out. So that explains why they are still guests in the parks. Because my first move when that happens would be to just pull out all the guests. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Message them or something. You just cross over to the train fast. We're taking you. Oh, uh, you, paid, oh, you already paid for a weekend at one of our park. Let's just go. It's dangerous for your life, but we don't care. Go ahead. They won't want them to die. I mean, the, the, the lawsuit that would follow would be horrible. Yeah, but like I said... Who's gonna tell if no one is alive to tell the The tale. families. What are, what, they, they will and notice. This might happen. For, to know. everyone? To everyone. No, no, they wouldn't notice. But look. <laughs> anyway, but uh, it's interesting to know that now they have uh, Dolores' father, Peter. They have him, but they're gonna lose him eventually because I know we know from the shot of the future that she lost him. And, oh my uh, god, I'm sorry. <laughs> And Bernard is in a tight spot too. I don't know why Clementine like hurt him and stuff. Maybe she thought he was running away. Well, that's what he was doing. But uh, she seems so crazy she, right now. She lost with her him. white dress, her blood uh, red eye, like her. Oh yeah, the way he, she, you see her color brown and stuff. She would be the perfect you know antagonist in a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I mean maybe he was trying to run away and and since she saw him, she stopped him to bring him back to Dolores. Dolores, who now can take bullets without flinching. I don't know if she's just that determined or if she just managed to disconnect completely from maybe her body. Maybe she just like way too much connect with. The fact that she she's not real. not real. Yeah. She but what well, she is real, but she's not flesh and bones. She's a robot. Her way of doing things, though, like you can clearly see that Teddy is gonna you know betray her at some point. He doesn't he approve. Kind of already did by letting them go. Yeah, and, and she, she saw. Asked him to shoot them. She saw it, so she's gonna bring that back. But I wonder if she cares enough. Like we saw her, she she still cared. For her dad, it brought her to tears, and that's one thing that in this season, so far, she has been trying to play this like she's in control and that she's like she's the boss and nothing can phase her. But when she saw her dad, all the emotions came back, and this is something that's great because it happened to Maeve as well. She tried to well, we know that she was following a script, but on the emotional level, she tried to play it off. Has like she, nothing could phase her, but then she didn't care about her other. But she, the dawn, she did. Yeah, and even just seeing like the the ones that actually took part in her death back in that storyline, it still you know frightens her. So Dolores is still the same. Like even though she knows that these memories are not real, deep down they are still emotions that she felt. You know, these are still people that she cared about. So yeah. if she feels like this with her dad. There's a chance that she might still feel like this with Teddy. Because mm. uh, they had this discussion with Maeve's group. Uh, the script is what made these relationships possible. And to, to, for, for, you know, for, we have, we've got actors who goes like, oh, she was fake. Like, that love story was written. But he goes right back into the script as he tries to express his love for Maeve. <laughs> so I feel like... Yes, it it might be scripted, but you cannot really erase that part of them. Even if you know it's scripted, like they were programmed to follow that script. And Dolores is free now. She's completely free, but she remembers these emotions. So my, now she might just be free, free to follow these emotions or betray Teddy and kill him if he tries to cross her. Which I'm afraid might happen because we know he's dying. Like he's he dead at the end. We know he's dead. Aww. He doesn't approve at all. Like for, I mean, I understand too. Like she's like, oh, it's us against them. Like we need to stop them and take over the world. But then she goes ahead and kills us. Like she kills their own group of people. She betrays them, and it's not like she's just killing them because uh, because they're on their their path or anything. She's using them as bait and stuff, like to survive, to kill the the actual people. Her way of doing things is too much Wyatt for Teddy, who's in love with Dolores. We see Dolores sometimes, like when she talks to him and she, she talks about the beauty and all these metaphors and, and when she's gentle, that this is Dolores, but everything else is Wyatt. Hmm. She is stuck in between two personalities, the same way her dad is stuck in between all the storylines. You know what I think? I think that Ford put the key, um, the key to the door inside Peter Albernani. 
It could be. Because what was the, the phrase again that Bernard read on the, the pad when he was trying to uh, access the file? A one-time key? It, well, yeah, that's what we, that was written. One time key. And he, he understood what it meant. We just didn't tell us. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we won't know until the end of the season, guys. I don't But know I if... do understand that there's something inside Peter's code that is really important yeah. for the next part. Uh, I think that is has a part to play for the door with Men in Black game. And what does the door lead to? Because I we thought it was like the exit to the exit to the park. I, mean, I don't know. It's probably not that, but uh, still, it's interesting. And uh, it means that he was aware of everything they were doing back in season one, which is <laughs> badass. <laughs> well, that's something I'm skin for you. Because I mean, so, yeah. well, I mean, yeah, like the director Bernard doesn't really know yet why they, well, what what they were sending. <coughs> sorry, what they were sending to um, their uh, partners out of the park. Mm -hmm. So, if it's not something else that Ford put in him, it is the the boards. You know the that girl from the board, like the, the director and stuff. They put something in him, and that's why they were using him. That's why he's so important. Because if he's not different, different from the others, why not send another host? He yeah, is important. Right. I think I think they might have put something in him, and when Bernard saw what it was, or when when he saw like. A clue to what it might be that's when he freaked out and he tried to leave but uh i mean there is something very wrong with them and i don't i don't understand and but <sighs> in the present he doesn't seem to be affected by it so i don't know if he's gonna correct it or if he's gonna heal himself somehow but uh it breaks my heart a little bit to see him like shaking and all oh he's just trying to survive <laughs> Anyway, you're falling on your feet, so... Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the next episode. Not now, but still. Yeah, not now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this with us. If you want to see the next episode right away, it is already up on Patreon. The link is in the description. So click and subscribe. And if you don't, you just need to wait for another week for the next episode to be uploaded on YouTube. Monday. Same day, same time, same hour. Not, no, but still. See you well, Monday, guys. We'll try, for sure. Bye. Bye, guys.